Geoffrey Hinton, also known as the godfather of artificial intelligence, has spent half a century teaching computers to learn. He has nurtured the technology at the art of chatbot, which is intended to mimic the neurons in our brains as we learn. Now he worries that these artificial brains are better than us and has the highest possibility of taking over. While Intum believes AI will bring about increased productivity and efficiency, he worries about the potential risk digital intelligence poses as well. I think we're moving into a period when, for the first time ever, we may have things more intelligent than us. You believe they can understand? Yes. You believe they are intelligent? Yes. You believe these systems have experiences of their own? and can make decisions based on those experiences? In the same sense as people do, yes. Are they conscious? I think they probably don't have much self-awareness at present. So in that sense, I don't think they're conscious. Will they have self-awareness, consciousness? Oh, yes. I yes. Think, oh, yes, I think they will in time. And so human beings will be the second most intelligent beings on the planet. It took much, much longer than I expected. It took like 50 years before it worked well. But in the end, it did work well. At what point did you realize that you were right about neural networks and most everyone else was wrong? I always thought I was right. <laughs> you think these AI systems are better at learning than the human mind? I think they may be, yes. And at present, they're quite a lot smaller. So even the biggest chatbots only have about a trillion connections in them. The human brain has about 100 trillion. And yet, in the trillion connections in a chatbot, it knows far more than you do in your 100 trillion connections, which suggests it's got a much better way of getting knowledge into those connections. We have a very good idea of sort of roughly what it's doing. But as soon as it gets really complicated, we don't actually know what's going on any more than we know what's going on in your brain. What we did was we designed the learning algorithm. That's a bit like designing the principle of evolution. But when this learning algorithm then interacts with data, it produces complicated neural networks that are good at doing things, but we don't really understand exactly how they do those things. So one of the ways in which these systems might escape control is by writing their own computer code to modify themselves. And that's something we need to seriously worry about. They will be able to manipulate people, right? And these will be very good at convincing people because they'll have learned from all the novels that were ever written, all the books by Machiavelli, all the political connivances. They'll know all that stuff. They'll know how to do it. Getting super intelligent AI was way in the future. The beginning of 2023, I began to think it was much closer than I thought before. And I began to get nervous about what would happen when AI was smarter than people. For more on well-researched and balanced stories, events and interviews across business, tech innovation and lifestyle, please like, share and subscribe to this channel, www.youtube.com slash digivationnetwork.